Here we go. You want to know how to put your Kellogg's Nutri-Grain VR experience together? I'm here to help. Right, so you've cut your, you've cut it out. That's wonderful. You choose the right uh, top adapter for your phone. Mine's an S3. There's different phones, different iPhone versions of the iPhone. You've cut your nose bridge out. Wonderful. Lovely. This comes inside the cereal box. You don't have to fiddle with the f f lenses or anything. I will start with what I call the top, since that's where it sits. Make sure that your Nutri-Grain logo is out, pointing out to these holes. If everything looks disgusting, it's because I glued it all together and I've taken it apart, so that you may learn. You're putting it through those holes. It through the other hole, the one, the other one. You would sellotape here and here. Same on the other side. I'm using a dollop of hot glue. There and there. Now, don't fold these. When you do fold these over, but don't glue them here. Don't glue them where the tabs are, because these sides will fold over on top of these in a few minutes. So I just put a little dollop of glue in the corner here, so if I screw up, I can undo it easily. Ta-da! Ta-da, ta-da! It's all ranky. It's all beat up. Mad Max VR. So I put it upside down like this. Take this here. Push through. You've already cut those holes out, hopefully. Or you're just watching this before you get your cereal. Waiting for cereal is a terrible thing. For me, I'm going to just put a dollop of glue there. Out, hot! And you will put sellotape on the inside. Now, as I said, these fold up over onto the tab. Same here for me, because I may take it to pieces again. I'm going to put a dollop of glue there. You would put sellotape. Those uh, bird noises are birds. I have pet birds. Done. So as you can see, you've done most of it. Most of the hard part. Uh, there's your nose bridge. Where did I put the adapter? Uh, I showed you earlier that you choose your adapter. Once folded over, here it is. Once cut out, you fold along the crease lines. Something like that. You see this grey area? You will glue it there. I have not bothered. So I don't need it. Now you've got your nose bridge. Fold it over like that. Fold out your flaps there. Now, this is the inside. See? See it outside? That's where your face goes. You slip it through these little two wings through this hole. Uh, and then fold out like this and you can use some sellotape to hold it in place so they stay down as you can see I've got lots of hot glue cobwebs all over the place and inside here you will see these little flat wings they've been folded flat and there's a grayed out area to help you put them in the right place sellotape, you will use sellotape Now you've cut those little ridges, those little holes there. Mine look terrible. I suggest putting some thick sellotape, or putting a whole lot of sellotape over it, and under it. Because this will rip, and I already have ripped it. 
and then cut your slots or recut them because you foot then it's basically done we're actually done I fold it into these holes here it's a little difficult I'm watching through the screen and then these tabs go in here into those holes now it's a little bit easier when you've actually got the phone in there since it helps hold the, everything up that's why I say put a little bit of sellers tape under those holes because that will ensure that you won't rip it as easily give it a bit more uh, strength there it's done now if your phone was in there she'd be sweet I cut a hole from my charger I have a my phone goes flat even when it's on the charger so that's done um, once you get those tabs in it's a little difficult since I've kind of covered everything with glue I would use Velcro just like on the Google Cardboard so that is how you do it